Welcome back. In the last two portions, we've talked about work and rest. And in this portion, we want to cover celebration. Mm -hmm. We all know we need to work. We hear about the command to rest, but we often uh, leave out that important element of celebration. Mm -hmm. Celebration is like the cherry on the ice cream sundae. It mm -hmm. is like uh, the victory lap in the race. It's like a ribbon cutting for a new project. It's a recognition of endurance, perseverance, and milestones. Celebration is an act of worship and gratitude for God, God's goodness. David spoke with his spirit to his soul, and an expression of celebration and worship was expressed through his body when David danced. I'm not really an expert on the topic of celebration because I'm a double task-oriented personality type, and stopping to rest or celebrate isn't my default. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on getting the job done. But thank goodness over time, I've come to understand the vital importance of rest for my health mm -hmm. and be intentional about it. Otherwise, there's no telling what condition I might be in today. Yeah. But I have a tendency to ne neglect celebration and seem to continuously move the finish line out. Like we're almost mm -hmm. there and I'm like, let's yes. go a little farther. So we seldom cross the line <laughs> and celebrate progress. But Luis, on the other hand, is a party waiting to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I remember a few years ago uh, when we were in Honduras, we climbed to the top of a mountain with a huge cross on the top called the Way of the Cross or the Way of Sorrow. Yes, mm -hmm. how could I forget? It was called the Way of Sorrow for good reason. <laughs> it was steep and difficult. And the higher we climbed, the more difficult it was for me to breathe. Yes. The closer we got to the top, the more often we had to stop and rest. And at each stop, Luis would celebrate and cheer me on for the progress I had made and encourage me not to look at the top, but just making a few more yards. Mm -hmm. I was so close to the top, but honestly, I thought at one point I could not go any further and I was ready to quit. But with each push, a little rest and celebration, mm -hmm. uh, you were able to push forward again to the next goal. And finally, we made it to the ultimate goal, the top of the, of the cross. Yes, and then we had a big celebration. Yes, I remember that. It's a little easier for me to celebrate big accomplishment, accomplishments like that, but That's particularly true. I have difficulty recognizing and celebrating seemingly small progress or things that don't seem important. But the fact that it's not natural for me to celebrate doesn't give me an exemption from mm -hmm. celebration. Just like I had to learn to rest, I'm learning to celebrate even small steps towards a bigger goal. Celebration allows us to relax and unwind in the midst of busy and crazy lives. Mm -hmm. Celebration provides an opportunity to gather with friends and family to allow us to remember the things in life that, tr that truly matter. Mm -hmm. You know, as we celebrate, we allow the stress of life to dissipate as well. Uh, we do things we love with the people that we love. And celebration doesn't have to be reserved for big events or holidays. Mm -hmm. Most of our days are spent doing trivial tasks and having celebrations to look forward to. They make that seem less mundane, the daily routine. Mm -hmm. Celebrations of all kinds give us the excitement to keep making it through routine or difficult days. Mm -hmm. We can think of ways of incorp incorporate celebrations of all kinds into our life. Make a big deal out of birthdays, weddings, or anniversaries and holidays. We can learn from our grandkids. They make a celebration about mm -hmm. the smallest things like climbing up and mm -hmm. sliding down a slide at the yeah, park. Or... Yeah. Some of the best celebrations are for no reason at all. Just invite your friends over, cook a great food, and spend a few hours playing games that cause laughter and build friendship at the same time. We can celebrate important events like finishing a project, getting mm -hmm. a job, passing yeah. a test, receiving a raise. Yeah. And we can also build regular rituals of celebration that aren't conducted with any special events, but they're special for us. They have yes. special meaning for us. Celebrating our successes and acknowledging personal growth helps keep us on track and motivated towards our goals. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether you've achieved something concrete or not, or even if you think you've failed, get what you can out of every experience mm -hmm. and celebrate your progress along your path. Celebration can encourage us and give us energy that impulses us on towards the goal. Mm -hmm. 
Another benefit of celebration is the ability to give us perspective. We come to see that we're taking things too seriously or making a mountain out of a molehill. Mm -hmm. When we feel gratitude, the heart may bring forth in singing and dancing or shouting. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We can learn to laugh and poke fun at ourselves, Mm -hmm. even enjoy wholesome jokes or clever puns, relish good comedy. Learning to laugh is a discipline to be mastered. Mm -hmm. Let go of the need to be serious and and focus Mm -hmm. just for a little bit. So it is good and necessary to work hard. But it is equally good and necessary to celebrate. Each evening, rather than focusing on what was left undone or what we must do tomorrow, it is important to stop and celebrate what we have accomplished. We should meditate on and celebrate the positive points of our life or of our day. That's been a really powerful thing for me to Mm -hmm. take time to think about and acknowledge what I accomplished in the day before I go to bed because I'm always thinking about what needs to be done tomorrow. It's been a good uh, thing to help me rest better. And the, and the Bible says every day brings, brings its, its own, own uh, what negative or yeah. problems. Yeah. Good or bad. Good or bad, yeah. Celebration helps us slow down, like a person who slowly chooses food, savoring each bite rather than mm-hmm. gulping it down without enjoying it. Remember, work Rest and celebration is God's design for health in body, soul, and spirit. The vehicle of rest can facilitate the road to success, and regular celebration is a fuel that energizes and ignites gratitude for what God has done, is doing, and will do. What have you achieved in the last few weeks or months that shows you are on the track toward goals or deeper purpose? Take some time out to celebrate where you are right now. You really deserve it. And if you're doing this class as a part of the Vital Signs course or Mm -hmm. my journey, you've come a ways already. Take a pause and do something special to celebrate. Are we finished? I think so. Let's celebrate. (laughs) 